What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now, today what we got for you guys is a little bit more of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare information. Now we don't have very much today so it's probably going to be a shorter video, but today was the day that we were supposed to be getting everything, meaning the reveal trailer and all that information from Call of Duty's site, but with the leak that happened, it kind of threw off the system that Call of Duty and Sledgehammer had going for them. Now Sledgehammer had things all under tight lock and key and it was almost perfect, but in this day and age with so many avenues of social media with only one leak, I'd still consider that to be near perfection. Now, as promised, Game Informer did in fact release some more information, not as much as we probably would have hoped, but that's what happens when leaks come out, things before rather than later. Now, with this information that Game Informer released came the cover spread for this month's Game Informer issue. It looks absolutely awesome in my opinion. I'll put it up on screen now for you guys to see. And like I said, it just looks really cool and it just further showcases the destruction we'll be seeing throughout the game. Looks like great quality wise and my guess is that this is the same footage from the reveal trailer which was only 900p native. So there is definitely going to be some awesome graphics from the quality of the game being upscaled to match the next gen consoles as well as PC hardware. But the next thing that we have is that Game Informer did an interview with Eric Hirschberg, Mike Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield regarding Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and its coverage of the release. Now, while speaking the praises of it, Eric Hirschberg, the CEO of Activision, was quoted saying they're bringing some big experiments to the core mechanics that will affect multiplayer in every mode of the game. Now, that's quite a bold and daring statement when you really think about it, especially because the Call of Duty community isn't necessarily one of the ones most susceptible to changes. People will say that they want change, but when it happens, they often complain about it. So, something like this is quite big, hopefully for the sake of the Call of Duty community and for the sake of Sledgehammer, these changes turn out for the better, but I'm going to keep my thoughts positive for the time being, but they've certainly piqued my interest with such a quote. Now, for the time being, this is all that we have regarding the Game Informer for release coverage of the game, but with the 12 pages from this month's issue going live later today for digital subscribers, there's bound to be a lot more coverage going on, so stick around here on my channel. I'm going to be bringing you guys the best of information regarding that. Anything that comes out worthy of telling you guys, I will definitely be making a video on it. So that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares of your Facebook, Twitter, and or my I specifically owed you like that. Always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. We're going to be having a ton of stuff still coming to you guys. So, like I said, any news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys later. Take care and peace.